Welcome to part 2, configuration using Smit. Uh, the node that we're looking at right now in white is our primary node, HA71A, and the one here in black is um, our backup node, HA71B. So a couple of things to, uh, to check just to start with. Um, you can see there I've just done a cat of the ETC host file. I've got uh, just a handful of things in there. Uh, firstly, the loopback addresses for IPv4 and 6, so that's uh, uh, essential there. There. Um, secondly, the DNS server. Uh, and then these two here are the IP addresses assigned to my production network on the EN0 interfaces on both nodes. Uh, and then finally, uh, the 218 address is the uh, service address that will define in PowerHA for our application Grumpy. Uh, next we want to make sure that the NS order variable is set appropriately in AIX so that the name resolution is checked uh, firstly using the ETC uh, host file and then secondly uh, bind which, which is our DNS environment so that's okay. Uh, then we want to make sure we can ping across that EN0 heartbeat ring uh, before we start. So we just simply here uh, ping HA71B. So that looks pretty good. Uh, before we jump into the SMIT panels for the configuration, uh, I just need to configure a volume group, a shared volume group, and a file system for the application Grumpy. So I've got a bunch of commands here, um, and I'm just going to run them. So first one does a uh, make VG uh, called Grumpy VG. Uh, it's of type enhanced concurrent mode, which is now mandatory for Power HA starting at version 7.1 on HD7. Uh, I've just varied it on, created a 200 meg uh, file system called slash testfs. Uh, this will make sure that Grumpy runs in relatively safe mode uh, rather than creating, uh, creating chaos in our environment. Um, varied the volume group off. I uh, jumped over to the backup node and done an import. So if we just have a look on the backup and do an LSPV, you'll see there I've got a grumpy volume group defined. And uh, it's on 783F, uh, which is the PVID of the shared LAN. So if we just check that, there we go. So 783F and grumpy VG. So that looks pretty good. Now we can jump into uh, Smitty panels. Um, the product got renamed at 7.1 to Power HA System Mirror, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, there's a new fast path, uh, which is Smitty Sys Mirror. There we go. Uh, I don't particularly like that myself personally, uh, but don't worry. Uh, HA CMP uh, works just fine. Uh, one of the great things IBM have done at this level is they have done a wonderful job at cleaning up the uh, SMIT panels. Uh, so I've just dragged in the the blue the blue um, background uh, uh, putty panel here uh, shows 6.1. So 6.1 here we have a simple configuration, uh, slightly more complex extended config, uh, CSPOC for change management, and PD. Hopefully we're not in there when things go wrong. Um, slight differences at 7.1. Uh, I would say if you want a quick one-to-one -one, uh, comparison. Uh, cluster nodes and networks and applications and resources are the simple configuration. Uh, custom cluster configuration is more towards the extended view and CSPOC and PD remain the same. So if we want to basically start by uh, creating our cluster, so we jump in here, uh, just go into uh, initial cluster setup uh, and set up a cluster. Um, there it defaults a name, so we don't want to use that. I'm going to call my cluster Grumpy Cluster. And just add all the nodes, um, all the AIX nodes that want to take part in that cluster. So I've just got uh, a two node, simple two node cluster, so HA71B and press enter. And that will create um, kind of the, the, the wrapper for the, for the cluster definition. Uh, it just jump over to the other node over the COCOMD uh, infrastructure, uh, run a couple of a couple of commands to um, uh, query the IP networks and and the volume group definitions, and uh, runs a CL top info. Um, so if we just quit out of that, 
we can run that manually there. Uh, you can see we've got a, a cluster name called Grumpy Cluster. It's using standard authentication. We haven't got a VPN. We're not using any message uh, encryption or, or VPN communications. Um, we don't have a, a repository disk, so this is for your cluster aware RIX. We'll, we'll add that next. Uh, and we've got two node definitions here, so 71A, 71B, uh, with one Ethernet network, uh, Net Ether01 with the relevant IP addresses defined. So that was pretty simple. Let's jump back in, uh, same path, and then this time we'll add a uh, repository disk. So I'm gonna use HD6 and press enter. So that's our topology done. Uh, then simply we can come into cluster applications and resources and we're going to define our application controller which um, specifies how to start and stop Grumpy and uh, our resource group. So let's just uh, de start by adding our application controller. These were called application servers in previous versions. So give it a name, so I'm going to call it Grumpy App and then the um, the stop start scripts so minor and user local grumpy it's called grumpy start with the test fs file system we just created and then the stop is user local grumpy grumpy stop like so Uh, next I want to add the service address for Grumpy so we can just F4 select um, list etc host file and just select the service address so that's as so and then uh, final step here is to add the resource group so give it a name this is just a logical wrapper for our application and then the nodes so again, you can F4 select these um, from the SMIT panel, and it's in order of priority. So by uh, selecting HA71A first, this is the highest priority node, and B is the backup. Uh, you've got uh, three policies, how to start up, how to fall over, and how to fall back. So uh, I'm going to pick the default for startup, which is on um, home node, highest priority node. Uh, I'm also going to keep the default for the fallover, which is just simply to the next one in the list. Uh, and then the fallback, um, the default is to fallback. Um, and that's generally never a good idea because falling back will cause another outage. It's always best to set never fallback. And uh, you decide as a system administrator when you want to move the application back to the home node. So that creates the logical wrapper. And then the final thing we do here is just basically add the the three most common things into the resource group which is the service address the application controller and the volume group and that is pretty much our configuration done just do a quick seal top info and then now we can see uh, the service address has been defined and the resource group is defined. If you want to see a little bit more information about that resource group, you can just uh, use the CL show res command, and that will give you all the attributes in, in a very detailed listing of that of that resource group. And that's the configuration complete. So if we um, shoot back into um, into Smitty HACMP. Uh, the final thing to do is just to synchronize the configuration um, over to the um, over to the other node in the cluster and uh, this operation takes a couple of minutes uh, if it's a new cluster like the one um, we're just creating now uh, the CAA infrastructure is also created So I've just uh, cut a couple of minutes out there while we're waiting for that to synchronize and as we can see from the SMIT panel there that uh, that's been successful. Uh, if we just check things, if you jump back over to the um, backup node, 
uh, do its apology listing so our configuration has come over fine also as well what you can do is you can um, do an LSPV listing and you can see there that our HD6 which was the LUN we picked for the CAA repository disk has now been renamed to CAA private zero and we've got a, a CAA VG private volume group being created uh, this is just like uh, any normal sort of AIX volume groups you can have a look at it you can uh, list the logical volumes that are on it uh, don't um, don't change the configuration of this disk though uh, that is purely for AIX and for power HA's use right okay well that's the configuration completed hopefully you found that useful